Hey all, hope you're well. Wanted to do a quick video on lessons learned so far from selling AI generated images. And I'm not talking about technical things like how to upload and uh, review times and all that stuff. This is more a uh, video about lessons learned, uh, themes, um, strategies, uh, what seems to be working as far as sales go and uh, what doesn't uh, to the extent that I actually have data for that. Thought it would be worth doing at this point since I've been selling now for a period of time. I think I think close to four months now. Uh, so I have a little bit of information and I think uh, it might be useful um, for you. So let's just jump right into it. So right now I have 800 uh, images on Adobe Stock that are illustrations generated through AI, Midjourney specifically. Of those 800 images, 70 individual images have sold. So that's just under 10% uh, of the uploaded images have sold. And so in my experience as a stock contributor selling photos and videos, uh, the 10% uh, isn't probably unusual for me. So that's, that's kind of par for the course, I think. Uh, so it looks like illustrations sort of feel and seem to sell uh, similar to the way my photos sell. Okay, so even though only about 10% of those images have sold, my total sales in the last few months, basically the last three months, uh, have been 143 sales. Uh, so 143, so keep in mind that um, I haven't had that 800 uh, portfolio up the whole time. Uh, it's gone from you know zero to 800 over the three months. So, uh, as that 800 image portfolio sell sits there longer, uh, typically more images would sell, sell, but having 143 sales from a small portfolio of 800, I think is uh, a positive. And interestingly, the top five of those AI generated illustrations account for um, 41 of those 143 sales. So that's a big chunk. And my top 10 uh, account for 60 of those 143 sales. So I had 51 images that just had one sale each. So uh, I think other people have talked about this before. I'm not too sure, but there's a principle called the Pareto principle. And basically it's like an 80-20 rule where 20%, uh, like if it's applied to stock photography, you'd expect 20% of your portfolio to generate 80% of the income. And when I look at the breakdown right now of my illustrations, it really feels like 20% um, of my portfolio uh, or slightly less is generating, you know, at least 80% of that income. So that Pareto principle is holding true for illustrations here right now. Um, and this, you know, this is a bit of an aside, but this is something that, you know, I think about. Often people talk about building a large portfolio uh, to generate uh, income on microstock sites. There, were, there is a need for a big portfolio, but the way you really want to look at it is you, will, you really want to increase that 20% of your uh, income generating part of your portfolio as, as much as possible. So uh, that's really what happens. Uh, and then there's 80% of your portfolio that just never earns. And so um, it's, it's almost... A mathematical philosophical uh, rule or law that applies so you, you just don't worry about that 80% that's that's never really selling very well uh, so that's kind of how the sales are looking right now okay so the next thing I was going to talk about is uh, aspect ratios I have been experimenting with uh, which aspect ratios sell my portfolio is primarily uh, 3 by 2 and 16 by 9 aspect ratios, but I've also uploaded 2 by 3, I've uploaded 1 by 2, I've uploaded 2 by 1, I've uploaded 1 by 1 square crop. So I've been experimenting across the board with different aspect ratios to try to determine whether the market may be different for different sizes of images. And so my results so far have been that um, the aspect ratio that it sold the best for me is uh, three by two. So just general uh, landscape sort of uh, aspect. 
and I've had 76 uh, sales for three by two aspect ratio. My wider, like panoramic aspect ratio, 16 by nine and two by one, I've had 39 sales. And the balance of the portfolio uh, falls to the rest. Um, and I've sold uh, most other aspect ratios that I've uploaded, like one by one, like square crop a little bit, uh, portrait sort of two by three aspect ratio I've sold. And I've even sold images that were uh, uh, two by one, uh, the really sort of more narrow panorama. So um, that surprised me a bit uh, since I have generally uploaded quite a few 16 by nine. So I'll probably start focusing on making sure that I don't go short on uh, standard three by two aspect ratio images. The other thing I just want to mention about aspect ratios is, is do upload everything. Just don't go one by one or uh, three by two or two by three. Just, you know, try to vary your uploads so that you're providing different aspect ratios for uh, different uh, buyers in the market. So the other thing I want to talk about is my best selling themes. So I've implemented a sort of a strategy to explore subject areas, uh, try to build a diverse portfolio, but since I didn't know for sure what would sell, I tried to do a lot of different things, um, not sort of over uh, upload on certain areas or, or anything like that. Uh, just because this is new to me and uh, I'm not an illustrator, so uh, I'm not sure what sells and what doesn't. Um, and maybe it's premature to let you know what uh, themes sell best, at least for me. Um, and of course, I don't cover everything, but I thought I would give you a hint of where things are at regardless. With animals, I've uploaded a lot of animal images. I've had 10 animal sales uh, that were realistic images and seven that were more artistic style. Uh, nautical related themes, I've uploaded a lot of those. I've had 13 sales. Uh, mythical creatures, uh, 10 sales. Uh, religious themed, I have got eight sales. Ruins and ancient, seven sales. I've uploaded holiday stuff as well, like probably everyone is. I've had one sale that was a Valentine's Day related sale. I've had other st stuff that was going up around holidays like uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, that hasn't sold. I will continue to do that, um, but I think those sort of um, holiday things like Christmas or Valentine's or St. Patty's or whatever. I think we're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of uploads in that area, and those will saturate. Um, I think pretty dramatically. So, um, so you know, way getting into that, um, I'll probably do it, but you know, it might be a challenge. Generally, as far as themes would go, I would say that um, what's selling best are images that are really hard to take photos of. So. Um, Illustrations that are obviously illustrations, but aren't necessarily competing directly with an actual photograph that's been made of that particular subject. And that was a bit surprising, sort of wasn't expecting that, but it sort of makes sense that um, what's hard to photograph is likely going to be, uh, is likely going to have less coverage in the database. So maybe that's just it. So when you're creating uh, generate AI images, maybe think of things that uh, can't be readily photographed. Um, you know, maybe things that are sort of past tense or hard to reach or, you know, things like that. Um, that has um, some potential. Uh, things that haven't sold for me at all, even though I've uploaded a lot of, technology-based, like uh, cloud computing, um, circuit board, smart city. I think there's probably a ton of, ton of uh, saturation in that, those niches. So those are in science, uh, computer technology, information technology, uh, future-oriented images. I haven't been selling for me, uh, even though those were probably the first things that I tried. Um, and maybe I was being pretty cliche by trying those things. Uh, so um, yeah, stay out of cliche and just uh, focus on um, trying to do things that are, are hard to do uh, for others or hard for people to imagine um, and go with that kind of thing. Uh, the other themed 
based thing that I wanted to talk about before I wrap up this video is one of the strategies that I had coming in was to create images that didn't relate to um, my area, like North America, America's essentially North, Central, South America, and Western Europe. I was thinking that if I generated images that were relevant to other parts of the world, like Asia, Africa, uh, places that I've never been, places that are in a different time zone, that maybe I could start generating income that was like 24 hours a day on this on Adobe stock. Uh, because typically, I would say that you know, most of my sales come uh, within the work hours of the uh, location where I live and uh, sort of give or take uh, based on based on that. So um, I was thinking, hey, if if I could take um, the work hours of the people that buy my image and make that a 24 hour cycle, then then that would be great. I'd be earning income all the time. What I've found is so far, although I have a smaller portfolio there on those sort of non sort of Western based images is that they haven't actually sold that much, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, perhaps that is a fact that um, most of the buyers on these stock sites currently are sort of North American, European um, in, in their um, in the location of their businesses. So maybe the market is much smaller. I just don't know that much about the Asian market, for example, or the African market. So um, I'm going to still run that exper experiment for a little while. But uh, as far as it goes right now, I think I will continue to make sure that the bulk of the images that I am uploading are in fact tailored for the Americas or for European markets. So hopefully this was helpful and I'll update the um, trends and how things are going uh, periodically over time so you can also get a sense of where I'm at with uh, selling AI images. Hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you on the next one.